801 here in New York City, same time in Georgia, where we've got a Fox News alert. Schools all across the country are on high alert after that deadly shooting at Appalachia High School in Georgia. So police say two 14-year-old students and two teachers were killed by a 14-year-old student who had the FBI, the FBI had interviewed him just last year. Dana Marie McNichol is in outside the school in Winder, Georgia, with more on the suspect and the victims. Dana Marie. Well, good morning. We do know that law enforcement say the shooter is communicating with them. Fox News has decided not to name the shooter. Of course, the timeline of the day is still under investigation, but police say that first call came in at 1030 in the morning. Obviously, the shooter was armed and our school resource officer engaged him. And the shooter quickly realized that if he did not give up, that it would end with an OIS, or an officer involved shooting. He gave up, got on the ground, and the deputy took him into custody. The weapon that was used in this was an AR platform style weapon. Last night, we learned the names of the four people who lost their lives. Mason Schirmerhorn, a 14-year-old student. Christian Angelo, a 14-year-old student. Two teachers, Richard Aspinwall, and Christina Irami. Now, according to the school's website, the adults killed were both math teachers, and Aspinwall was also an assistant football coach. Students were escorted onto the school's football field yesterday as they waited to be reunited with loved ones after a traumatic day. You can hear the fear in their voices when we spoke to them. I just feel like you're basically never safe anywhere, and no matter, like, how you can like no matter if there's like cops in the school there's still no safety at all questions still remain about how the shooter got the gun inside the school but we do know the teenager was on fbi's radar since last year in may 2023 the fbi's national threat operation center received several anonymous tips about online threats to commit a school shooting at an unidentified location and time the online threats contained photographs of the gun the subject denied making these threats online there was no probable cause for arrest or to take any additional law enforcement action. Now, authorities went to the 13-year-old's then at the time home, spoke to his father and said he had a hunting gun in the house and that his son never had unsupervised access to the guns. The FBI referred this information to the Jackson County Sheriff's Office for action. Uh, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office identified and located Gray, who is our suspect in this case, they conducted an investigation at that time and there was no probable cause for arrest or to take any additional law enforcement action. And authorities say that 14 year old is in police custody. He will be charged with murder and tried as an adult. As for this community, of course, they're in mourning. There were several vigils held last night. School in this county will be closed for the rest of the week as this investigation continues. Dan and Marie, we thank you very thank much you. for the live report from Georgia. So she just uh, indicated that uh, an AR weapon was used and at the same time uh, talked a little bit about how when the, the cops went to the house, uh, the father said, yeah, I've got I've got hunting guns, but the kid doesn't have super, unsupervised access to them. That's the way the cops depicted it. There, there's nothing that actually connects this gun to the family at this point. We don't know where the gun came from. It could have been the family's gun. Then again, it could have been from somewhere else. They also have not mentioned where, what sort of a motive, what motivated the guy to do this. Um, you know, when you look at only four people, just four people, it could have been a lot worse, but two math teachers and two students, and as soon as the school resource uh, officer approached him, he just said, I, I, I give up. And no doubt he saved a lot of lives, uh, some he cops did. in, 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 in the Takes past. a lot of guts to yeah. walk up to somebody with a gun. That's exactly Even right. if you have a gun. Yeah. Because some have, you know, hid and not gone in before. So kudos to this law enforcement officer that did this. I, I guess my big question when it comes to the FBI and local police is, what is an interview? 
Like, what, what is watching? What is on your radar? Because so many, I mean, we've covered so Remember many. Remember the Buffalo shooting? 100%. Or Uvalde, or the calls were made. So when you say someone is being watched or on your radar, what does that consist of? Because, you know, we continue to report on these shootings in schools uh, or terrorist incidents where they said that this was happening. And... Obviously, they're not being watched if they're committing the final act. This was a, a gut punch to every parent in America, many of whom took their child to school for the first time this week after right. Labor Day. You know, Mason Shinnamore went to school. He was autistic. Mm -hmm. And his family literally put out a message saying, if you find him, calm him down. He wasn't mm -hmm. answering his phone. And then he lost his life. He loved going to Walt Disney World. Uh, mm -hmm. Mason had just transferred to the school. Mason should still be with us, as right. should that other student, those two teachers. One of those teachers, the math teacher, by the way, you see there a hero football coach who died when he was opening the door to let students out. He and, died a hero. And you wonder if it is the parent's gun, if this figures, if the parent's gun and they didn't secure it, if they're Should going to be to. legally liable after that case. We've seen it. Right. So if that, that's where it's going to be key. And then all of a sudden, if you know that if you're a parent, you leave that gun out. I trust my son. Really? If you trust your son for your own freedom, yeah. you trust him. If you're, going to, uh, if you're going to allow him to go out with us, just know you're going to go to jail, too. Yep. If you know your son, uh, if your son's out of control. The other thing is, if law enforcement wants more power, if those FBI agents left that room and said, I wish I had the ability to detain this kid. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I want to hear it. Right. Yeah. right. I want to hear it now. So tell me, the Buffalo kid who shot up everyone in that mall, uh, they, t they detained him. They kept an eye on him. He right. goes up, uh, he goes up uh, 500 miles upstate and starts shooting people. And he was a racist. And now you have this guy. If, if, they had the, if they had additional power, what would they have done? My sense is they knew the kid was lying when he said it wasn't his. Mm -hmm. Because forensically, we're, we're finding people in caves in Afghanistan forensically. We, I'm pretty sure we right. know where the 13-year-old yeah. gamer what that was his is, threat. Tell us what you need yeah. so we yeah. can stop this from happening. Also, Speak kudos to those, to those young people that drug that coach inside uh, of the classroom and began to, Tried to save give CPR him. and cover the gunshot wound. I mean, your parents... Obviously, this was a terrible situation. She should be proud of you for taking yes. it. I mean, not a lot of people is dragging bodies in when gunshots are ranking out. And every senator in America should be embracing the Marsha Blackburn bill. Maybe Trump can lead the charge on this to get more school resource officers, retired law enforcement, veterans in our schools. That made a difference yesterday. Absolutely. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.